Okay, welcome people. Back to Batman the Telltale series. The final episode, episode 5. I was so surprised to know that this came out early, to my knowledge. I thought we weren't going to get this until later on in the month. But sure. Let's get right into it. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? I got some other business I need to take care of. What did you do? I destroyed Lady Arkham's drugs. The innocent people were a small price to pay. Ah! Ah! Oh, you psycho! Uh, now you can do whatever you want to me, but Lady Arkham's plans are already in motion. All right, let's see how this goes down. I don't have a house. That man doesn't have a house. Is the cave still okay? The city is still reeling from an explosion Mayor Harvey Dent set off that obliterated an entire city block. Come on, Jack Ryder, show me into the creep on this last episode, please. About his extreme measures. Please. Mayor Dent said he'll use any force necessary to take down the children of Ark. You're done, Gordon. Give up your badge and we'll Meanwhile, opponents are routinely silenced. The latest to speak out is Police Commissioner Grogan. He called Dent a murderer and a terrorist and demanded his immediate resignation. In response, Dent's enforcers attempted to arrest Grogan, sparking violence inside the precinct. These are dark days in Gotham. Our mayor promised us a better city, but delivers only more. How do we let Dent stay in power? The precinct Uh, let me step Facebook. Just in time, Batman. Uh, Mayor Dent's lost his goddamn mind. His enforcers are in the city. Apparently, our new mayor doesn't care much for dissent. He's ordered a purge of every honest cop we have left. Which isn't many. Sick man. He needs to be stopped before he hurts anyone else. Oh, maybe you can get him some therapy. After you stop him tearing the city apart, Commissioner's still down there. Ugh. This after me. Oh. 
follow my lead. They can't hold out much longer. Not real, real blood going on here. This is high stakes. Well, it better be for the last episode. a stuck animation for Batman. died a hero, giving his life for Gotham. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. This... this is not your fault. It's a bastard, Dents. Krogan was a good man. A family man. Lieutenant Gordon! Gordon! Come in! S Sergeant Kelly! Report! It's the mayor! At Wayne Manor! He's got... hostages. And he's killing them one by one until Bruce Wayne shows. He says, he says, cops show up, he'll kill another. Batman shows up, he'll kill them all. Kelly, get out of there. Sir, I'm... I'll let the coin decide. Kelly! Kelly! Damn it! Ooh. Get yourself to a hospital, Lieutenant. Are you safe? Yes, I'm barricaded in the Batcave. I heard gunshots, but then Harvey's men disabled the cameras. I have to face Harvey as Bruce Wayne. Otherwise, he'll just keep killing people. Perhaps going as Bruce could be an advantage. Even without the suit, you're a formidable opponent. I know the old Harvey is still in there somewhere. If anyone can reach him, it's you. I'll be standing by if you need me. It's time to end this, Harvey. Once and for all. safer Gotham. A Gotham where working people can raise their families. Without fear of being robbed or stabbed or, or worse. I know I can make the city better. If 
If only I... Okay, I'll back you. <laughs> Come on, Bruce. That joke is in poor taste. I'm serious, Harvey. I'll fund your campaign completely. I've lived in Gotham my whole life, and I've never seen an official I can believe in. Until you. Oh, thank you, Bruce. I... I, I promise, I will not let you down. Mm -mm, never even crossed my mind. The only real question is, this election or next? We'll let the coin decide. Oh, shit. <laughs> Lucky. But someone has to die. <laughs> Are you volunteering, Deborah? Harvey! Wayne! About damn time! Snipers, two of them. Get the drones online. I'll see what I can do. I wasn't sure you'd come. I throw you at Arkham, burn down your home, and nothing. Where do you actually grow a backbone? Please, Harvey! Let these people go! Oh, you really think it'll be that easy? You're dumber than you look, Bruce. Maybe you'll look smarter with a bullet in your face! Listen to yourself! This isn't you. <laughs> Wait. What am I saying? I've tried to fight it, Bruce, but... I can't. Bruce, I only ever wanted to help Gotham. And now look at me. I can't stop him. He's stronger than I am. Just put the gun down, Harvey. You don't tell me what to do. No one tells me what to do. This city needs to be purged of people like you. All of you. Traitors. <laughs> terrorists. And cops who don't their mayor's orders. Harvey, don't! This is the only way to clean up this fool! Oh! No, please! <laughs> this is what happens to people who cross me, Wayne. You were the fiercest DA the city ever had. Someone who fought for people's dreams. So much for a s Gotham. You're right. This isn't me. Go. Go. Get away. I wouldn't let them all go, but... It's not up to me. Deborah, my not-so-faithful assistant. You've been feeding my enemies info since the start! I swear Beg I Beg all you want, but it's not up to me. Your life, his life, even my life. All hinge on chance. <laughs> Do it. On the flip of a silver dollar. You from wrong. I am begging you. <laughs> What did I do? What... What did he make me do? Now, Bruce! Creeper, oh, creeper, turn into the creeper it. now. Harvey, no more. No more? I'm just getting started! This is the only way to keep people in line. Otherwise, they walk all over you! Harvey, please! You called me here for a reason. Take me! You... You were Harvey's friend, Wayne. He thought you'd save this city together. Uh, but he... He was a fool for believing in you! That's enough, Harvey. You're... You're right. Two-faced move, I know. But sometimes, 
You have to make your own luck. One last call. A bullet in the head? Or one in the heart? I'm feeling pretty good about those odds. Give me the coin. I need... I need the result! Where do I shoot? Drop the damn coin! Without the coin, I can't. I don't know what to do! If you insist. No! Oh, shit. Did I just kill Harvey? No, Harvey, don't. No. Oh, fuck. Okay. Bruce. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I, I can't decide. I know it's too much. It's too much. I can't. A safer Gotham, Harvey. Just like you want it. Wherever they put me, and whatever they do, I'll get out. I'm coming for you, Wayne. Nowhere is safe. You're gonna die. I'm gonna get you help, Harvey. We will get you better. I am better, Wayne. I'm the best I've ever been. Oh, you'll see. <laughs> I'm not done yet. Mr. Wayne, I, I owe you so much. You're a hero, and I'm gonna make sure all of Gotham knows it. You should be rotting in Arkham! Oh, damn. Lady Arkham hasn't forgotten you. Everything you love will burn. Kinda already has, bruh. Yeah, only now they put the title screen. Is this perhaps an extra long episode? I'm hoping. Well, we got two face down. Oswald, I think, is prison too, right? It's only really Lady Arkham. And Vicky Vale. Your usual tea and the entire pantry, I'm afraid, didn't survive the fire. This is from my own personal supply. Thanks, <laughs> Alfred. We're not the only ones that took a hit while Mayor Dent was in power. Well, at least you've ensured Harvey won't be hurting anyone else. Bruce, these last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. D not just the physical toll. Those were men you once trusted, and after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Always letting you down, even those whom you admire. Not everyone is like my father or Oswald, and what Harvey became, it wasn't by choice. And me. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This, this is my fault. All of it. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. 
But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her... If I'd stopped Thomas, none of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham, Oswald, even Harvey. I don't blame you for what happened, Alfred. You did the best you could in an impossible situation. And it helped to make me the man I am today. I... Thank you, Bruce. But our work isn't done. The children of Arkham are still out there, and Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, and finally log into Wayne Enterprises, and see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. Vicky Vale, mid-30s, reporter for the Gotham Gazette, and not in the public record, her true name, Victoria Arkham. To think she was here, in the manor, she gave nothing away of her true nature then. The Gazette's records are the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable gaps between entries, but yet it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. The children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear. Not unlike Batman. I just need to find her. Can't spin her around. Her. All right. Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Let's see what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just? see what he was doing. Oh, 
Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. Oswald was, was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. It's some kind of tourist attraction. He was going to call it Falcone Iceberg. Island. F F oh, I thought I was going to call it Iceberg. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of course. Falcone Island, that's... Pretty corny. Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not. Unless. Hold on. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. No surprise here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in sociology. And my medical records. There are some... Well, but colorful diseases. Annoying, but not hard to fix. <laughs> oh, that's better. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 what's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bad computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? here they did more than just look at these schematics every building in gotham with the wayne tech security system can be accessed from here and remotely controlled if oswald was the brawn vicky is the brains so let's check her file she may have left clues about what she was using oswald's access for Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There. No more holes. She was looking into Arkham patients. Reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums. All to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD Headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. 
Speaking of... Is it Lady Arkham? No, it's one of Lucius's prototypes. On the move. What? But Lucius locked everything away. Well, he needed a better lock. <sighs> she stole from you? After we opened our doors to her. After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? She must have her reasons. Well, I'm sure she does. Computer visual. The prototype she stole. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands. Especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. And Alfred, let Lucius know what's happened. I'm going to get some answers from Selina. expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits, at least. Clearly my ride needs a tune-up. If you wanted to see me, you could have just called. <laughs> the chase is so much more fun. But I know you're not here for me. Are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham, but the less noble options are so much more... exciting. Why should I give it back? So much potential. Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws into. Enough games, Selina. Hand it over. Now. <sighs> you just have no imagination, do you? Catch. It's clear you're not gonna be any fun. And I'm not in the mood for a fight. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman. Scourge of Gotham. I was always going to steal from Bruce Wayne. I just never expected he'd be so interesting. As a mark, that is. So it was all just an act. Everything we've done together. A lie. That's how it started. And now it's over. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire. And I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more... Meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, but... But think of the fun. Gotham needs me. And I won't abandon the people of this city, no matter how they feel about me. After the way they've treated you, you've got one hell of a thick skin. You're gonna need it. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. Harvey was out of control. And he wanted to destroy Gotham. If you did the same. And yes, 
I'd put you behind bars in a heartbeat. Looks like we're back where we started when we first met on that rooftop. Enemies. Well, you're not really leaving me with much of a choice. <laughs> oh, please. You aren't even trying to see things from my perspective. You're stuck in your close-minded, one-town world. I need you to understand something. You are just a job. A frustrating, if sometimes entertaining, job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. Stop. That's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Why would you even think that? I've made my feelings pretty clear. Why aren't you listening? You saved my life. You could have left me to die back in that warehouse, but you didn't. Someone who's only out for herself, who's just a thief, wouldn't do that. Oh yeah? Who would? A good person. That's who. A hero. You know, after I found out you were Batman, I thought nothing else could surprise me. But you just keep on surprising me. Something to remember me by. <laughs> I won't need any help remembering you. Well, it's been fun. You stay out of trouble, because if I catch you taking what's not yours again, I'll have to stop you. <laughs> I look forward to our next dance. Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! I, I tried to keep them out, but... Alfred? Alfred! It's going down in my house again? Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. Need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? everywhere what did they do to you Alfred something big was thrown against this wall or someone furniture scattered outwards from a single Point. Face was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. A scuff mark. What could have caused this? A 
I'll see a connection here. Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off an attacker. But it was knocked away. must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. This pool cue was used as a weapon, swung so hard it broke in half. Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon, broke it across his attacker's head. When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. I know what happened. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred hid himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads, then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. But Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. Wait, that picture doesn't belong there. Lady Arkham wanted me to find this. liberties with the uh, Batman mythos.
Nikki will pay for this. I'll make sure of that. Look at what she's doing to him. All right. Well, then let's get to work. Alfred keeps adjusting his glasses. The reflection. He's making sure I see the reflection in his glasses. <laughs> he knows the back computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in. And I can view the virtual image using my cowl. Good thinking, Alfred. Okay, Lucius. Freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. Here we go. He's wounded. It must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Professional grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. Stairs leading up. Cement walls. We're in a basement. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Rogers Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Nothing else to see here. Moving on. Lady Arkham. Keep searching. A mason stamp. Only one Masonic Lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. A basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. They're by a bus stop. There we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. Okay, filtering for all homes built on that date. Get the bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House, where she killed her foster parents. According to its records, it has a basement. Well, just in case she's expecting you. What is that? Something I almost didn't get to finish because of Penguin. It's the most advanced version yet. <laughs> Lady Arkham will have no idea what I've got up these sleeves. The 
Well done, Lucius. You've been long overdue for an upgrade. This suit is beyond state of the art. This ends tonight. Heading into the basement. Be careful. See what I can find. Standing by. Alfred's blood is still fresh. Means we can't be far behind them. This is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him. soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. The wall is just a facade. Why would the veils have a false wall she in their basement? She got her own bad cave. Now let's find out where the veils were hiding. There's a small room. With a hole in the floor. A rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. inside. Foster children may not have been the only ones to suffer here. I followed Alfred's blood into this hole. If he had any opportunity at all, he would have left me a clue. There are drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. The chalk here is different, newer. created her here, in this room. This 
is where Vicky Vale became Lady Arkham. Oh, shit. But well, it looks like her costume, it... A belt. It's caked in blood. apart from the others. Purple. Mm. The same color as my tack. Can't be a coincidence. Maybe... The highlighted words read, To Arkham. That drawing... Looks like Alfred. Alfred left me another clue. This is what he wanted me to find. To see. He's modified one of her own Lady Arkham drawings to include himself. And these two words, to Arkham. Then she's going to Arkham, and she's taking Alfred with her. That's the final piece, Arkham. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems, including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors, release the inmates, and she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon and the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expected. We'll catch her by surprise. Last of it, then. The children of Arkham have taken over. Suits no slouch. You're well prepared for a fight. And the GCPD are on their way to deal with the inmates. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his payroll. Answer the question. Where this doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. Killing him won't solve anything. But it will teach Bruce Wayne a lesson. One he and all of Gotham will learn. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when look away. Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Try to turn back now. I know you've suffered. You were tortured, held captive by the people who were supposed to love you. I don't know how you survived. You want to know how I survived? I survived. Because every night, I dreamed of the revenge I'd take on them. And this forsaken city. Your time's run out. There's 
nothing you can do, Batman. You underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Arkham! Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing in your way is Batman. Batman. He stuck me in here! Me too. Let me out. He's the crazy one! Such a pleasure to see your work in person. Batman! Lady Arkham has a hostage. We've got the inmates. Lock it down!
There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. <laughs> yourself <laughs> let him go the butler has to die payment for Thomas Wayne's sins he took away my family so I'll take away his sons if you really want to save the butler bring me Bruce Wayne if anyone can find him, it's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. Why should I trust you'll keep your word? Because my mask is off now, Batman. I won't lie. You're doing so much for one old man. Those men deserved their day in court, just like everyone else. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice is final and absolute. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than his father? He hides behind his status and wealth. Blaming other men to carry his burdens. You aren't my enemy, Batman. Wayne. always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? Batman is who I am. Who I need to be. To do what must be done. If that's what you believe, you're lying to yourself. You wear the mask so that you can't be held accountable. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath.
Hold on, Alfred. Uh, you, you, you came, you came for me. Uh, after what you... I knew you'd come. The man, the man I, I made you... Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Above you! <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar. Alfred. <sighs> Such concern. For someone you've never met before. Release him. Then we'll talk. <laughs> you know, I just don't believe you. I think Alfred may be the only way I can make you talk. It makes me wonder. Do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh. Batman, don't you... Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. If that's what it will take to save him... No! Must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A true Wayne. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. he did are unforgivable but i am trying to make up for his crimes i wear this mask to help people i'm not some naive socialite you can sweet talk i know a liar when i see one
Damn, this is a good ass fight scene, boy. As to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> If the public knew the half of it, it's better that they don't. Uh, this came in the mail. It's unsigned. Selena. With everything that's been going on, I... I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. But... Uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain, gone. Vicky took my secret to the grave. But you couldn't have known that would happen. No. But what's done is done. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> That it does. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. Lady Arkham, Penguin, Harvey. They won't be the last to threaten Gotham. Likely not. But you'll be ready. In the meantime, let us hope for some peace. To peace. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. 
leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a first start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. That's a lot to live up to, you know. I won't let you down. I know you won't. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well... Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Perhaps one is truly the mask, and one is who you truly believe you are. Let Gordon know Bruce Wayne will be there. Quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful. Commissioner Gordon. Commissioner Gordon. That no, doesn't sound right. Don't. It will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. What uh, happened to your ear? It looks painful. Cut myself shaving. What'd you use? A chainsaw? Well, to be honest, I was surprised to get you. The business of your manner. I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that, I wouldn't blame you for low. What you did is no secret. These people, all there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. Before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. It's time I owned my family's past. Take responsibility for what my father did, so we can all move forward. Can't be easy, but I'm glad that you're here. I was half hoping to show up, too. I wouldn't mind knowing he was keeping an eye on things here. Not <laughs> he makes one hell of a on people. If Batman isn't here, it's because he's more needed. I wouldn't take it personally. <laughs> Good advice when it comes to that guy. They're ready for you, Commissioner. Now, during times like these, it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. But I have hope. Hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. Now, in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. Tough act to follow. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses. Some of those losses 
came at the hands of my own father. Or at least as a result of his actions. I loved my father. But nothing can excuse what he did. So today, I stand before you as my own man. Heir not to the Wayne legacy, but to Gotham's. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. I think it's time to repay that debt. I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. And to that end, I am ceasing construction on the Wayne Mental Health Facility. I'll be devoting all my resources to improving the existing asylum. It will be the most advanced mental health treatment facility in the country, in keeping with the vision of its founders. Just minutes ago, Bruce Wayne a rousing speech that shocking assassination attempt on his life. So that was Arkham, uh, I mean, Batman the Telltale series, y'all. Have a heavy sequel given that uh, last scene with the, the Joker. Or. Uh, you know, this, this is a, a good. Order. Other than that. I maybe because man, I mean, there was some ones of the that uh, you know seemed sort of rushed, or like uh, there was some sound that was not added. I don't really know, but uh, you know their take on everything really, really innovative. I'll say that really innovative. I like it. Well, I just, uh, I don't think Vicky Vale is dead. I hope that, you know, she comes back in season two, you know, which I'm most certain there will be. But, uh, but yeah, all right, guys. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. And, uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, follow comment and all that all that uh, all that jazz like the facebook page follow me on twitter tumblr here on twitch watch on youtube like and all that jazz how many videos are they uploaded all the videos Dunzo. Six, seven. We've got like a lot more content just podcast wise on this. I think this is really neat. Of course, they have already.
filmed these portions of the story, movies, portions of video. What is this? Please guess.